Price-conscious motorists have been given a two-wheeled weapon in the battle against rising petrol prices. Changes to the law mean Victorians will be the first in the country to get their hands on new electric bicycles. Rob Scott with the story. They're all the rage in Europe, and if the roads minister has his way, <laughs> Melbourne could soon be filled with them. They are a welcome addition onto our bicycle network here in Victoria. Before today, electric bikes over 200 watts were classified as motorcycles but not anymore. And they would have needed registration and a motorcycle uh, licence to use. But now, with the change, uh, they're, they're, they're classed as a bicycle. But the new classification could mean our already busy bike paths are pushed to the limit. On the flip side, experts say they're a great alternative to congested roads or packed trains and trams. Elderly people, people whose knees are getting a bit wonky, uh, people who live in hilly areas, uh, people who've got a long way to travel, uh, this is the solution for them. Equipped with a battery and a motor, e-bikes retail for between one and three thousand dollars. But at less than fifteen cents a day to run, it's the cheapest form of motorised transport. For the price of a six dollar Mikey card, you can go four thousand kilometres on an electric bike. One of the biggest selling points of these bikes is the sweat-free ride to work and the fact that I can cycle in wearing my suit without having to worry about showering or changing when I get there. Remember, this is more about transport than fitness. Rob Scott, 9.